Okay, we're uh, heading out on our uh, kayak camping trip and we're taking off from the Long Lake Lodge, which is what you'll see in behind us. And I think Trisha and Roland from East Marsh Acres. <laughs> Up in the Kawartha Lakes Provincial Park. I think we're all set. Yep. We've got everything we need and we've got a, uh, a paddle across the lake and then we've got a short portage to another lake and then our camping site is just around uh, the corner apparently from the portage. Anyways, and we're we... trying to beat a storm that's coming <laughs> so we better be off. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, first stop. So there's the Long Lake Lodge way off in the distance down that direction and we're heading that away. Um, there are a number of cottages along the, the route here, uh, not a large number, and m most of them seem to be uh, relatively empty at this point, in the middle of the week. Uh, it's not a holiday or anything, so... Sorry about that, water dropping right in the middle of your lens. And uh, yeah, things are going well, relatively well. Trisha's over there somewhere. Welcome to the Canadian Woods. Fort of Rich Clark. I went on to see the site was available last night because it would get here early. Right. But mm -hmm. uh, it said it was booked. So I wonder if somebody um, booked the site and then saw the forecast and decided not to. Hello, it's Roland from East Marsh Acres, and I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. So, we're here at a camping site. I uh, can't remember what um, lake this is on, but there's our tent and our uh, drying line in behind, and here's the main camp campsite uh, itself. Um, we spent a number of hours yesterday underneath this um, Eureka no bug zone uh, tent because it was raining cats and dogs so yesterday we ended up with quite a bit of rain and not being able to actually do an awful lot because uh, we were getting very wet uh, we had, had a reasonably good night uh, to sleep last night and uh, there goes Diana and Tim over there. I don't know if you can see them. Just barely, maybe. And Tricia and I are getting ready to go down on the lake this afternoon. Uh, we'll bring you along so that you can see a little bit of what's going on. Um, here's our camp uh, table, dining table, playing table, etc. Our water setup so that we're filtering our own water and uh, being able to actually produce our own. Um, so we're, we're just going to go exploring a little bit uh, and see where that takes us this afternoon. Uh, we'll let you know what's happening. Uh, talk to you soon. So here's the campsite from the water. It's got a little point out there and there's Patricia. Don't know exactly where we're headed. Somewhere out there.
So we've just passed from one part of the lake to another part of the lake. We'll turn around so you see the narrow passageway that we just went through. And some water lilies. And some more lake and rocks and trees. There's a shallow area over there. So we just went through that little passageway over there and came across the other side of this little wee little island is a beaver dam. Maybe I can get around the corner. It's kind of hard to... Beaver Lodge. It looks more like a Beaver Lodge than it. it. It's not a dam, really. But this entire space may have been created by the beavers in the first place. Uh, so you see the lodge a little bit better in that corner. and some logs that were not used that are still floating on top here. Okay, I'm going to go and follow Trisha because we're exploring whether this in front of us is actually an island that's cut off from the mainland. So I saw the air and flying into here. Do not see it right now. There. Great blue. Going around the corner. There's a big piece of granite sticking up out of the water. So we're heavily into the Canadian Shield here. And uh, mostly granite underneath our feet and under the water, under the trees. We're noticing that there are a number of cottages around the area. So this little island that we've just been going around, one to our left, has probably about four cottages on it, from what we can tell. There's Patricia's technique as she's gliding. Very experienced kayaker. <laughs> We've had these kayaks. Uh, Trisha has had years, what, five years or so? Yeah, so we got mine. Uh, quite a number of years after Patricia got hers. It's exactly the same brand, but it's a slightly newer edition, so there are some some things on it that you'll notice are different than on hers. Uh, these are Delta's 1210s, um, made in uh, British Columbia. Fiberglass. Um, you can put a skirt on them, and uh, got adjustable seats, um, and adjustable uh, footrests, even though I have no option for my footrest. They're at maximum, and even then, they're a little on the tight side for me. But I can get uh, easily so get my. Do you have to bend your knees like that? Like, 
a, a little bit. Uh, they're right up against the cowl. My knees are right here. Yeah, I like how I kind of put them in there too, but I like the stability of them. Yeah. There's another campsite over there to the left on the uh, mainland around the ed end of this uh, island here. We're heading back towards our campsite and so we'll pick up the, uh, the story again when we There's a moon in front of us with little ones. Hey, little one, Trish. So there's our campsite right in front of us, Trish. Okay, here is Roland coming in to land at our campsite. We'll see how graceful he can do this. <laughs> or not. <laughs> he is really crunched in there. Well, one foot's out. Get the body up. The shoes do not help. 
Oh, are they, they're a little stickier than the wet, wet shoes, right? Yep. So our technique is we stand on either side of the kayak. Except that this foot is too far forward. And then we pull the kayak through our legs and there we go. So that's what we've adapted to our uh, strengths and weaknesses. Rather than tipping over sideways. Yeah. You want to just put it maybe, or they're going to have to come up that side. Yeah. Or put yours alongside there. I'll pull it over here. Okay, next morning we're leaving the campsite. We were packed up. Can't tell because everything's in the kayaks. We're heading over there where there's a short portage, 400 meters or something along those lines, up and then down into the next lake. We'll let you see what the portage is like, because it's a little bit of maneuvering. So here's Roland doing our portage. So you can see at the bottom we've got some wheels. <coughs> so I'm going to be following behind to push up the hill a bit. It's quite rocky. It doesn't fall off the little trailer wheels. Oh, that was one hill. Oh, we hit a rock. Okay. Now it's doing the doggy. And we need a break. So now we're walking back on the portage to get the other kayak. And that's part of the process. <coughs> Breathing hard of the exertion, rolling more than me because he's lifting and pulling the kayak all the way, pretty much, and I'm just stabilizing. But, anyways, here we go to get the another one. Bring the second canoe down.
You want to? Can you, uh, did you record this? Because I'm taking it. Done. Oh, okay. I can't see. Oh, so that's the handy dandy little set of wheels. Set of wheels. Cotter pin in each tire. Cotter pin back on. Yeah, you don't want to lose those. We must have that strap in our uh, other strap in our box of straps yep. at home. And this is our friend's canoe. They've already been one trip with the canoe in the backpack. And now they're coming down the hill with the rest of their gear. So they had to do two trips as well. And Hello. <laughs> hey Diana. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're enjoying these kayaks. So again, if you didn't realize or know, these are Delta 1210 kayaks and they're made in Delta BC. What is the weight so, of them? Empty. Empty. Um, I can't Probably remember. Probably about 30 pounds. Oh, oh really? Yeah, they're not that heavy. I thought they were heavier when I had to drag out. But, I didn't but they were loaded. They were but loaded. they were loaded. Yeah. Okay, heading down Long Lake. So we're somewhere towards the southern end of Long Lake. And... What do we see in the water? A loon. Don't know how close I can get before it dies. <laughs> 